Nothing was going to hold Earl Thompson Jr. back from knocking a big goal off his basketball bucket list. It was a dream come true. I never expected to actually do it one day, but I'm glad I did. I met a lot of great people. Crosses over in the lane. Alley oop time! You gotta love it. Well, what a build up play. Started with a crisscross. The former Bobcat star is back in Brandon after playing with his home country, the Virgin Islands, at the FIBA America Cup 2021 qualifiers. Representing his national team has been a long time coming. Well, they wanted me for junior nationals for a long time, and they've asked me every year to play, so I finally took the opportunity to do it. It was just I was involved with school and other things at the time. Thompson Jr. and his team earned a split against Cuba at the end of February, with the next set of qualifying games in November when they'll play the Dominican Republic and Canada. I didn't realize how big it meant to the, to the world, pretty much, so it's, it's an honor to play. The last competitive games that Thompson Jr. played in was the 2016-17 Canada West season. In 2015-16, he was named the Bobcats MVP. I've been wanting, I've been missing playing basketball. Just putting on that jersey just felt amazing to play for someone again, so it was great. Thompson Jr. moved to Henderson, Nevada at the age of 13 and played at Shoreline Community College in Washington before coming to the Wheat City. His homeland has grown by leaps and bounds in basketball. I have to give it up for my, my island because we, we, we have about 500,000 in, in population, but we happen to have players that leave, and it's really impressive that with such a small population, we still can, can, be, can show talent, like even Tim Duncan's from the Virgin Islands. It's helped me already just experiencing the way people play in different cultures, and I think I'm just going to grow as a person just meeting new people all the time and as a basketball player just experiencing new players so in more competitive levels.